Hello friends, in this video we will talk about purine metabolism. First we will discuss the ring, biosynthesis, catabolism, sandwich pathway, regulation and applied aspect. We will see the ring first, ok? So in this ring, C4, C5, N7 is glycine, ok? Shaded in the yellow triangle. C8 is N C8 and 2 is N10 formal THF. N3 and 9 is glutamine and N1 is aspartate. Okay. Now we go for biosynthesis. So see now ribose 5-phosphate. No need of alpha D. Just ribose 5-phosphate on PRPP synthase. We have PRPP. Then on glutamyl amidotransferase, glutamyl amidotransferase, we are getting phosphoribosyl amine. Yes, phosphoribosyl amine on addition of glycine, glycine amide will be attached to it and rest is safe. So glycine amide, ribosyl 5-phosphate. So from now onwards, ribosyl 5-phosphate will be common. Okay, just remember this. R5P ribosyl 5 phosphate will be common from now onwards. Then formyl group is added. Okay. And then the rest is same. And on synthetase, on synthetase, just two letters will be added IN. So amide N will be formed. Okay. And the rest is same. Then for synthetase, then on synthetase, 5 amino imidazole. So, in, in place of formal glycinamide, 5 amino imidazole will be there. Okay. Then on carboxylation, carboxy group will be added. Okay. And the rest will be same. On synthetase, we have addition of 4 succinyl. Okay. 4 succinyl is added and the rest will be same. Okay. And Sorry, and then there will be one change that is amide group, carboxamide, okay? And then there is adenosuccinase, there is release of fumarate, enters TCA cycle, compared with urea cycle. In urea cycle, what was it? Argininosuccinic acid on argininosuccinase, we got arginine and fumarate, similar reaction it is, okay? And then on adenosuccinase, there is release of fumarate, right? So the succinyl will be removed. Instead, the 4 will be attached to this carboxamide, okay? The rest will be same again. On formal transferase, okay? We are finding that we will get form, form amino group attached. And then... On dehydration, we have IMP, inosine monophosphate. Then the pathway continues for the synthesis of AMP and GMP like this. Okay. Now let's see the breakdown. AMP, IMP, GMP. AMP to IMP is convertible on deamination. Then on nucleotidase, all are subjected to nucleotidase. They will form the respective bases A for adenosine, I for inosine, G for guanosine. And same way adenosine to inosine convertible by the same enzyme. Like what we said in the starting. Okay. Inosine on phosphorylation on phosphate group will have hypoxanthine. Okay. So for inosine and guanine will add the phosphate group. Here, hypoxanthine in case of inosine, in case of guanosine, guanine. Then, hypoxanthine to xanthine by xanthine oxidase, water to hydrogen peroxide. Then, the same xanthine will get from guanine by guanase. Then, xanthine on the same enzyme, xanthine oxidase, will get uric acid. Okay, this is the catabolism. Now, the salvage pathway. Okay, salvage pathway, adenine on phosphoribosyl transferase, AMP. 
Remember here now for guanine and hypoxanthin, enzyme is same. That is HGPRT. I break it down as hypoxanthin, guanine, phosphoriposyl transferase, HGPRT. Okay. So guanine and hypoxanthin I told before same enzyme. Guanine will form GMP, hypoxanthin will form IMP. Okay. Now the regulation. Very similar to pyrimidine. In pyrimidine, we said aspartate transcarbamylase by feedback inhibition. Same PRPP, glutamyl amidotransferase will do. Okay. Remember when AMP and GMP are excess, the enzyme is switched off. Okay. So AMP will inhibit adenyl succinase. Sorry, adenyl succinate synthetase. GMP will inhibit IMP dehydrogenase. Okay. Now the applied aspect, we have the GOT and Lesch-Nyhan syndrome. So when it comes to GOT, that is hyperuricemia leading to arthritis, we have the primary and secondary GOT. This is primary GOT, what I just told you. Now we we'll the secondary GOT is uh, fluctuated levels of the uric acid observed in the psoriasis and cancers. Now, Lesch-Nyhan syndrome, the features of it, caused by HGPRT deficiency, hypoxanthin, guanine, phosphoriposyl transferase deficiency. Okay. It is X-linked common in the males. It leads to self-nutilation. That is important. As in biting the nails, clipping the finger, clipping the nails, mental retardation, violent behavior, etc. And there is a lack of feedback inhibition. Just like our aspartate transcarbomylase, this will also do the feedback inhibition. And also similar to the PRPP, glutamyl amidotransferase. Okay. These are the enzymes and what the effect it is causing. So G6PS, glucose 6-phosphatase. Effect is same as that of the enzyme. Glutathione reductase related to GSH, that is the glutathione. PRPP synthase and amidotransferase. Synthase is for ribose 5-phosphate. The amidotransferase will be for glutamine. PRPP plus glutamine. HGPRT for HG, the first two letters, hypoxanthin and guanine. Then allopurinol on hypoxanthin and Okay? Right. So, references from where I took the pictures. That brings us to end of the video. So, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.